So the K&M's out for the count. Day two, baby. You know, the more I think about it, this thing's gonna fit perfectly with this channel. You know, just always breaking all the time. Now that you're finished washing up your beautiful Can-Am, it is time to dry it off. You don't want all this mud, like muddy water. You don't want water spots. So best way to do it is to crank it up and uh, go for a ride, get all this water. Oh yeah. I forgot, Can-Ams, you know, you know, they come factory not running. Wow, I forgot about that. back to the dealership now the only thing I can hope is that you know the POS Can-Am's battery strong enough to get it onto the trailer with the winch it's Can-Am so Can-Am power Can-Am tough what's they're saying I'm gonna have to delete this video if Can-Am tries to sponsor me <laughs> I could use a Mountain Dew the next day well good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, it is the next freaking morning and the dealership is finally freaking open because it's been closed so when i broke it i bought it friday night around six o'clock broke it the next day at two o'clock no one o'clock twelve o'clock and then i was going to drive it from the riding spot all the way to the dealership but the dealership closed on three on saturday so i missed it by an hour <sighs> And so it's been sitting for the past two days and I haven't touched it other than hand washing it yesterday. So, uh, yeah, the plan is I, I done told him. I told him when I bought it, I was like, yo, I'm buying this fuller on the, for the ride on the 10th for other fan meetups, the mud rides, the 10th through the 15th. And I still got to post about those and let everybody know that they're happening. And it's just, I didn't have a four wheeler. Okay. So I finally, it was like day seven or eight days until this big old week's worth of rides. Right. And I didn't have a four wheeler. I couldn't find a used Honda on Craigslist that I like. So I went and bought a can and you know, everything's done to it. You just hop on it and ride it apparently. Well, then it broke. So I'm telling them I either want my money back by the eighth, a new unit replacing it by the eighth or it fixed by the ninth. And if three of those can't happen or if one out of three of those can't happen, your boy's going to be on CNN. Okay. It's going to, it's going to be bad. <laughs> Let's hit the road and go see what, uh, all Rock Hill of Power Sports can do for me. I do have quite a bit of faith in Rock Hill Power Sports. They are great. They are they really serve the customer. But uh, the only problem is it's not really Rock Hill's fault. It's K&M's fault that I got a lemon. And so I got to be an asshole to them, and I really hate that. I'm, I'm hoping I don't have to be an asshole. Hopefully they do the right thing. But we just we gotta go see what's up. I'm, I'm thinking they'll do the right thing, even though they don't really have to. But that's just because they're good guys over there. So let's go, let's go see them. <laughs> that deer almost got hit. Please tell me I got that on camera. Where are you at, girl? Huh. Just standing in the middle of the road, cars everywhere. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we just got rear-ended. You okay? Yes. <laughs> all right, it's all right. Uh, I guess we can just go up to the next exit. If you think you can move. Oh, you're leaking antifreeze. Oh, shit. Yeah, you're not going to want to move your car. You're leaking antifreeze. Hey Siri, call Marty Price. Yeah, if you can bring me a ball hitch. I just got rear-ended and the hitch is destroyed. The car can't move, but you an 88 or I can't move because my hitch is bent up and I, all I got is a safety chain connected. Get back in the truck before somebody else hits us. So she's calling up the cops. She hit me freaking hard. When she hit me, I was like, holy cow. And the thing was, is we were all at dead still traffic. The car in front of me hadn't started moving yet. She, I was watching behind me. I think, I thought she was already stopped and just out of nowhere, just boom. And the real biggest problem for me right now is I don't have brake lights on the trailer, but you can see the actual brake lights on the truck. They're not blocked and out of the, or in any view. 
they might get me a ticket for that so we'll see that was not the reason why she hit me the reason why she hit me was holy cow I don't even know I'm just now kind of catching up I was so worried about the foiler being messed up cuz she hit me hard but uh, it literally bent my ball hitch I mean it destroyed my hitch It's always something. So it's a little worse than I thought. This car is tangled up. The frame is tangled up with the trailer. And it's going to be a pain getting them disconnected. She's got a tow truck on the way. Dad's almost here with the new hitch. But it ain't going to do us no good if uh, can't get them disconnected. And uh, also, the tongue of that trailer is not in good shape i'm worried about it just i don't know if i'm gonna be able to get it to the dealership or not the dealership's only 20 minutes out and I'm, i got a lot of electrical tape that could come into play here in a minute osha approved look who made it to the party the trailer's all uh, the trailer's caught on her frame so i can't pull forward so it's gonna be nifty trying to get this thing out I warned you about somebody, about you running into somebody. I weren't expecting them to run into you. Have I ever been in a wreck? No. Yeah, you fill up under there, and I looked up under it. looked cracked right down the center. I don't feel it. You know what? But I don't feel it, but we're going to have to. Yeah, right. we're going to have to replace it with a different hit. I was saying if it was still on the ball, we could just drag her to the damn exit. You did it right. Having a, having a couple tools makes things a lot easier. Well, looking all right. We got that electrical tape. The dealership's only about 20 minutes away. I'm more worried about once we get the foiler off, no weight being on it and it popping off. But we like to take the hell out of it, maybe not. We pulled off on the next exit and pulled over into a parking lot. We're looking at things now. Uh, I didn't get a ticket or nothing, so we're good I'm there. <laughs> we're good on that. The four-wheeler looks all right. I'm kind of worried about it. I mean, it was a hard damn impact. I mean, the trailer's bent up right here. You can see all the bends in that heavy steel. There's pieces of car laying everywhere. She hit me so hard, the trailer had cut into her radiator and about split her radiator in half it was ridiculous got the new hitch on this hitch is hammered Ruined. that was a whole about an hour and a half ordeal right there big pain in the ass i'm gonna turn you guys off we got a little bit of work to do and uh then we'll be back on the way to the dealership this can-am is cursed guys i'm telling you that can-am is cursed i guess it's making for good content <laughs> Well, boys, we are finally back on the road. It is 10:51. I was gonna be there at 9 a.m. when they opened, and uh, the cursed Can-Am strikes again. So uh, let's hope, let's hope nothing else happens, or I'm gonna cry. I, I, I've, I've got to cry. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have made it to the dealership. I'm gonna run in here and talk to the guys. I'm probably not gonna bring the camera. Yeah, we, we made it. I done talked to one of the guys, the guy who actually, I think his name's Joseph, the guy who I kind of worked the deal out with. And he, he was kind of amazed that I already had broke it, but got a lemon, boys. We gotta take her back, bring her home. I do gotta say, even with the Can-Am failing me and Can-Am giving me a lemon, I'm not gonna, it's not really the dealership's fault. I just wanna go ahead and put that out there. Rock Hill Power Sports, they are here for you guys. You guys need to come check them out. 
they freaking treated me greatly. Uh, they, they, they put me straight to the top since I just bought the unit in the service department. They were tearing into it before I got out the door. Already hooking it up to the computers and whatnot. Already had it in pieces. Great people over here at Rock Hill Power Sports. If you guys want to come look around, come look around. Let them know Brain Price sent you. You know, go ahead, throw a little plug in there for me. We're going to be going on a ride with them here at Carolina Adventure World, their night ride. These guys are actually going to be going to the night ride and uh, having a little bit of fun. So I'm going to be there for that and I'm going to be filming that for you guys. They also told me that uh, they're going to be having some demo rides with like jet skis and whatnot and they invited me out to that so that's freaking awesome yeah we we finally got the K&M getting fixed for me to break it again so that's that's nice I'm starving I'm gonna run to McDonald's and I'll pick you guys up at the house well we just kind of had a plot twist so uh yeah what in the hell else to freaking go wrong I swear today is not my day Got her back, boys. Oh. Well, today has been a, I guess you could say, eventful day, you know. Got rear-ended, took the foiler to the dealership, got the foiler fixed. Literally, they called me as I was pulling onto my road. So that was fun. Had to drive all the way back. But I mean, hey, boy, she runs. She's good. The trailer is getting replaced with the insurance because, uh, I mean, it's, yeah, been up back here, but the tongue, I mean, just look at that hack job down there. Hello. Hey. All right. Thank you. All right, bye-bye. Oh, and would you look at that? My new tires are in for the truck. So it looks like there's something else I gotta go do today. Holy cow, I'm tired. I've been in the truck since 7.40 this morning. It's like 2.30 right now. Just because like, just how things went, it was, whew. but hey, we're out of the truck. And on to the four-wheeler. I'm sure this video is getting kind of long. Oh, 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 you guys want to know what's wrong with the four-wheeler, right? So what was wrong? So up here, you have some buttons. You got reverse overdrive, kill switch, start switch, headlights, whatnot. Uh, well, there's the seal right through here. It goes on to the other side, at least I think. That keeps all those connectors and whatnot watertight. Well, somebody had over at Can-Am put the seals on wrong. Water got in there. It literally splashed in there because I didn't take it above the handlebars. So water got on that override button, did something with the computer, and it just didn't want to run. So it was a computer issue. That's one thing with these Can-Ams. I was figuring the biggest problems are either going to be A, too much power, breaking axles, belts, whatnot, or B, computer issues and technology. Those computers. Damn it, technology. Once they figure out how to make all this stuff waterproof, you know, Can-Am would be a nice four-wheeler. But uh, I'm gonna keep going with the whole Can-Am videos because I think you guys are enjoying them. And uh, well, they're, they're, so far there's been a lot to go on. I mean, this Can-Am's curse. Let's see what happens next. So guys, go down in your comments, leave your comments, suggestions, and anything else. Leave this video a like. Let's get it to 10,000 likes because my poor trailer. Yeah, please like, subscribe, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one.